Ripper. That's me. It's a special day when you get a package from one of your beloved sponsors, S1 Helmet Co. Shouts out to these guys. I've been riding these helmets for a few years now, and I absolutely love them. They support a lot of different sports, which is really cool, including scooters. And that's one of the coolest things about this brand. And uh, they don't like hide the fact that they actually support scooters like some companies out there. I'm not gonna name any names. But some of you all be doing that. But these guys don't do that whatsoever. They've supported the scooter community bar none since day one. And uh, I really appreciate them. So S1, shouts out to you guys. But what is inside this package is not a helmet. It's not a helmet at all. Ooh. Here's a little hint for you guys. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the S1 knee pads in here now these are not just any normal s1 knee pads now s1's been making pads for a little while now um and they make a really good pad the only reason that i haven't been riding them is just because they haven't been thick enough uh, because i like super thick pads but these ones these are thicker they come in like a shoe box style box which is really cool and another really cool thing about these pads is the fact that the kneecaps are fully removable and replaceable. So if you guys burn through your kneecaps really fast, and when I say kneecaps, I mean the kneecaps on the actual knee pad, not your actual kneecap. If you burn through these really fast, you can just replace them. These are kind of like a slick plastic material. Um, and the reason that they need to be like kind of slick like that is because if you have like a grippy plastic um, cap, you'll stick when it comes to sliding on any kind of concrete that's not super soft like the concrete that we have inside of Scooter Zone over here. These, you're not gonna experience any kind of problems when it comes to sliding. Um, I've never tested these pads out just yet, but tonight, tonight is the night. Let's throw these things on really quick, see how they feel. Excuse the uh, little bit of a mess that we have over here at the Zoned Out Podcast uh, set. It's just been a busy week over here at Scooter Zone, which if you guys need to grab any helmets like from S1, or you need to grab uh, any scooter wheels or parts or anything like that, you guys wanna snatch something for your scooter or your scooter ring abilities at the skate park or whatever, check us out, thescooterzone.com. We got a ton of stuff in here and uh, it's really busy right now. So if you're looking for something, you can't find it, give us a call. But let's see how these things feel when I actually put them on. If you ride knee pads, make sure you put the little uh, the little clasp that's on the bottom that goes on the inside of your knee, okay? Just for those of you guys that are wondering. Before I put these on, one thing I wanna talk about is the integrity of this pad. Uh, they have actual really nice straps on them. The Velcro on them isn't super cheap, so it's not gonna come undone all the time. And uh, one thing I look for when it comes to a really solid pad is a really solid bottom strap. And you also have a really thick bottom clasp, or um, I don't exactly know what the term is for this, but the bottom strap holder. And I'm gonna put them pretty tight too, cause I, I'm not gonna, I don't ride my knee pads super loose. I requested a medium. Um, they do feel like they're a little bit smaller than the other pads that I ride. Uh, I, I've been riding the same pads for a long time now. Um, so it's kind of like a, uh, it's a foreign feeling having anything that's any, any smaller. feel good though. I'm gonna give you guys a real life review on these. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna tell you guys I like them if I don't, okay? If I fall at the skate park and I feel it, I will let you guys know. I, that's one thing that every brand that I ride for knows that I do not do. I will not lie to my followers when it comes to anything, when it comes to quality, and I've told them that before. I've told S1 that, I've told Envy that. I'm not gonna lie for anybody. I'm gonna tell you guys the full on truth and nothing but the truth, okay? so. I got you. I will say one thing uh, about these that 
does feel kind of nice is right when I get a brand new set of the pads that I've been wearing forever, right? These are a much bigger pad and I do like that because of the fact that it feels protective, which is nice. But I'm, I must say, like having it to where it's not that huge feeling does feel kind of nice because it's not digging into the top end of my of my knee like so like essentially the bottom of my thigh I, I know that walking around is not what these are meant for it's not meant to just be comfortable they're meant to protect my knees they're meant to protect your knees just like s1's helmets but s1 does focus on comfort as well um, for example the helmets I hate certified helmets that are not comfortable because I feel like you should be able to get the best of both worlds with that one that's uh, extremely comfortable and protective and uh, I feel like right now um, these are definitely a lot more comfortable than those are but again I have not ridden them yet I'm gonna take these things over to the skate park uh, I'm gonna actually test these things out we're gonna cruise over to AMR tonight and um, hopefully it's not bike night because I don't remember if it is or not all right, so we made it over here to AMR, but one thing about tonight is it's packed, but it's okay. There's a lot of riders here, which is a good thing, and we're gonna get some clips. I wanna show you guys something that I noticed that I've never, ever seen, ever, on another set of pads, and I thought it was really, really cool. Uh, can I use you really quick as an example? This is Ernesto, ladies and gentlemen. Ernesto's got some pads right here, right? Ernesto, can I, can I touch the strap on your pad? Sure. So, see how Ernesto has like this section right here, right? How, uh, this like strap, if, if he pushes this over as far as he can, it's gonna max out because this is like far over there here instead of being like in the middle, right? The S1 pads actually have a solution to that. So S1 put this like little strap that they have on the side of the pad right here, right? But the top pad, you can actually tighten that Velcro. So now instead of this Velcro being super, super long like it was before like this, I can shorten it and make it to where it's super short. So for kids that have smaller thighs and everything, it's not gonna be all crazy. So I thought that was really, really cool. You can't get it. Yeah, you can't get it. They definitely feel different than my last ones do, but uh, I'm excited. and see how they feel. No, 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 come on, you gotta do it. I've never done one. Jesse and I made a bet. If I did flip flip, then he had the Superman. I did flip flip. He's got to do a Superman. I don't care if it's a Superwoman, Super Junior, Junior yeah. Man. I've never done one. Do it. I can't. Jesse Sumlin, no. Superman. Here we go. <laughs> hey. What? Oh. Yeah, Ripper. This is why you don't do them. Yeah, but it was fine. No. Look at my hands. They worked. All right. Supermans are not. Um, the Woman. Superman. Uh, was unsuccessful. Oh god, on my end, you guys definitely just saw a pimple somewhere. I zoomed in like You're still fine. No! Yeah, but I had my knee pads, they saved me, bro. Yeah, look at what. Don't have Those ones are good too. Don't, what, 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 those what, what, are like those 25 year old knee pads. Oh, he has Mine are almost on. 30 year old knee pads. Raymond, he has kneecaps on. You got kneecaps? Oh, you're good. I'm yeah, not, no! <laughs> Raven says he wants to do one more trick. What are you doing? All right, I'm excited to see it. A AP, get out of the way, bro. You're right in the middle of the clip. Get out of the way, you're right in the middle, bro. Ready? Here he comes. I have no idea what he's doing. Oh! Crossfoot? <laughs> Crossfoot! I bar grab so bad. Hey, that's going in. I'm zooming in on the bar grab. Ricky, about to coin whip. Oh. Hey, let's see that coin whip, bro. Grab and catch it. Whoa. R.I.P. the sesh. All right, guys, so we made it back over here to Scooter Zone, and uh, I want to give you guys an actual verdict. 
and my honest opinion of the S1 pads. Now, I rode these for probably about a half an hour last night. Um, they felt pretty good when I was wearing them and everything. Um, when I actually did fall on them, they felt protected, but I didn't feel um, like a massive amount of pain in my knees whatsoever. It felt pretty close to the same as my other pads, which is a very, very good thing. Um, I didn't get to ride them for that long, unfortunately. And one thing I wanna test these things out on is uh, like a vert ramp or something like that, mini mega or something like that. Um, but as of right now, these are gonna be the pads that I'm gonna be riding for a little while. Um, I like them enough to continue to ride them and keep on testing them out. Hopefully one day they make like some colored uh, kneecap replacements. That would be super, super cool. Just so you guys can get a little bit of a your own flavor in there. But an honest review, uh, these definitely pass uh, my expectations. So if you guys are looking for a new pad to ride and you wanna support a company that supports scootering, grab yourself a set of the S1 pads. I don't know when these specific ones are gonna be released to the public. Um, I know that when they do, we'll make sure to get a few of them over here at Scooter Zone for you guys if you wanna snatch some. Uh, those were the size medium for me. Uh, if you guys are a little bit younger, you might wanna grab like a small. If you guys like bigger pads, you can, I guess you can ride a medium or a large or whatever, but um, I ride a medium just for reference. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and until next time, I'm out of here. Later.